Okay, so um, for the multi-node profiling session, we are going to do things a bit differently. So I'm going to go backwards and show you the result, and then we're going to uh, show you how to do it. So basically, if you uh, open up Insight, a media insight system, you will be using uh, uh, the latest one. So it will be 2021.4.1 instead of uh, this is an older version. So as you can see, I've done a multi-node, two nodes actually. So each node has a GPU. So I have 16 profiles that I have um, add them together. So you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 uh, GPUs uh, profiling. So um, you can see that consistently, this is a very good profile we want to see. We want to see during the training, it is very consistent uh, of the G GPU um, utils. It's between 75 to even sometimes 90%. So that's very, very good. So, to, so that we at least know that our multi-node job running is actually utilizing GPU in a very consistent way. So there are some uh, some bits and get, uh, bits and um, valleys, what we call it, could get um, could be investigated further. But I mean, overall, this is a very good profile. OK, so now I'm going to close it down. This would take about an hour to load. So uh, yeah, that's why we're uh, doing it this way. So to get to have this profile. Basically, you do your normal um, job training. And I gave it a different name here. And the, the, the most important thing to notice here is that you need to, to evoke to the profiling run. You need to do ENSYS profile. You need to call ENSYS profile. And we're going to delay it by 30 seconds because we're, we're having quite a long run. You can see it's 16. 100 and we are going to see the stats and we we will do kill equal to none that means that when the profiling session reaching this duration it will not try to kill the application which is your running um, pytorch multi um, uh, multi node and multi gpu training and um, then we are going to collect those statistics and um, the most important thing with, with regard to the profiling saving um, is that you need to both save both the CERN no ID as well as the CERN local ID. This is the, the local rank. So the node should be zero or one because we got two nodes. And the CERN local ID, which is your GP rank, it should be between zero and seven. So together, they should have 16 in combination. And then after this, decoration of the profiling. And then you just call your normal Python Megatron pre-trained GPT run with the options above. OK, so let's do that. We're going to go to here. And we're going to call this uh, so now we have that and let's uh, take a look at the the output uh, if you remember it is a uh, ensis It is not the problem. This is just a warning. So, and afterwards, it should start training. Um, it will have the normal. It will it will uh, show you the normal um, training runs, and then it will show you once it's finished uh, the collecting of the uh, profiling. So let's skip ahead to the end because uh, this is going to take a while. Okay, so let's have a look. So now we start training, as I said, and let's make it bigger. Um, here we go. So as you can see, it will um, do the normal decoration, print out the normal training runs. So just ignore this warning 
things and then it will say these are your um, Megatron GPT training configurations and notice that we do have 16 GPU as the world size. It do the normal uh, initiation of torch distributed. It initialized the tensor model pipeline parallel and then it and building extension for C++ uh, so that Python can use it. And then it do building the data set, uh, this finished building and building the GPT model. And then it build the data set, the training uh, test and validation data set. And then it start, um, it should start training. And now, now this is the end site collecting data. And you can see the start training. So let's skip ahead to the end. Um, so that once that we finish with 100 iterations, um, then we should start, we should see profile like what, um, like what we have already seen from the very beginning. So we are sure that these training, multi-node training run, the GPU utilization is high and then it's consistent. So that's what we actually want to see. If you don't see this kind of thing, you, you should really dig into inside to debug. Okay, so this is the end. As you can see, it is, it is uh, saving successfully the um, uh, no zero, uh, GPU zero, and no zero, uh, GPU seven, and so on, and in scattered, uh, scatteredly. And then this is no one, and then save it all the way to GPU seven. So we should have 16 profile, which we do. Let's have a look. So. It's all of them over here. So 